Hello everyone, this is Riley or Mari Loves Kirby, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install some mods for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. All credit for this tutorial goes to that Smash 4 modder, as he created the original tutorial in text form. This is simply that in video form for people who prefer tutorials this way. This tutorial will help you install that Smash 4 modder's mod pack, and you will also be able to replace music in the game. A tutorial on how to create other mods, such as texture mods, will come at a later date as I am still learning how to do that myself. Also, I am on a Mac, but it is the same process on a PC except for one thing, but I will explain how to do that thing for PC users once we get there. For now, let's get started. Here are the things you will need to do this. You will need an SD card formatted to FAT32, the curious file found in the description, the XAMPP program found in the description, a Wii U, and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. The first thing you want to do is go to the links in the description to download XAMPP and the curious file. Now that you have downloaded both things, extract the curious file and start to install XAMPP. When installing XAMPP, it will tell you where it will be installed to. For me, it's the Applications folder. Just remember where this is for later. When XAMPP is finished installing, launch it and make sure that this web server is up and running. It will need to be running every time you want to load mods. Next, open up the curious file and you will see two folders called kernel and SD caffeine. Then go to where XAMPP installed to and inside you will find a folder called htdocs. Open this folder, and then drag kernel and SD caffeine inside of it. This next step is the one that can be different for Mac and Windows users. I will be showing what to do on a Mac, and then afterwards I will explain what to do on Windows, and if you're having trouble, you can comment and ask me, or just look up how to do it yourself. It's relatively easy. On a Mac, go to System Preferences and then go to Network. Inside should be your internal IP address. Remember this for later. If you are on Windows, go to the Start menu and search for CMD. Open it and this will open a terminal window. Inside of this window, type in IP config. Then find the set of four numbers labeled as an IPv4 address, and remember this, as this is your internal IP. Now that the preparation is completed, we can install the actual mods. First, we will be installing the mod pack that that Smash 4 modder created. There are two different links in the description, one for North American regions, or NTSC regions, and one for PAL regions, like Europe and Australia. Download the correct pack, and then put your SD card inside of your computer. Once you have downloaded the mod pack, extract it and you will get a folder with a lot of numbers in its name. Put this folder onto the root of your SD card. It may take a few minutes to install, but once you do, you have successfully installed the mod pack. If you don't want custom music in your game, you can now skip ahead to the Wii U portion of this tutorial. Inside of the folder with a lot of numbers in its name, there should be a folder called Patch. Create another new folder called Sound with no capital letters.
Inside of the sound folder, create another folder called BGM. Then go to the link in the description to smashcustommusic.com. You will be able to choose songs from many different video games to replace music in Smash Bros. Let's say I want a song from Undertale in the game. So, I'll hit U and go to Undertale. Then I'll scroll down to the song I want, which is Megalovania. And click on it. Next, click on Download or Add to Template for and choose Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Then another drop-down will appear called Download As. This is a list of every single song in the game, including DLC songs and unlockable songs. Find a song that you want your song to replace. If I want Megalovania to play on Final Destination and I don't like the credits theme from Smash 64, I'll choose that to overlap it. Now, download your song as an NUS3 bank file. This is the only file that will work. Inside of your BGM folder, place the song that you want, and you're done. You can repeat this process as many times as you want for as many songs as you want. Before we begin on the Wii U, make sure that XAMPP is open on your computer and that the web server from earlier is still up and running. Also, make sure you remember your internal IP from earlier, because this is required for the next step. Now, put your SD card in your Wii U and go to the internet browser. I don't have a gamepad capture card, and what we're about to do is shown on the gamepad, so I will just explain it as best I can. On the bottom left of your gamepad screen, you'll see your me. Click on your me, and this will open up all of your bookmarks. Change two of your bookmarks in this next step. The first one we are going to change, you have to change to be called Kernel with a capital K and the URL will be http colon slash slash your internal IP from earlier slash kernel slash blarg dot php second you'll change another bookmark to be called SD caffeine and then the URL will be http colon slash slash your internal IP from earlier slash SD caffeine slash blarg dot php that is the only time you will have to do that. Now, whenever you want to load your Super Smash Bros. mods, make sure that XAMPP is running on your computer and the web server is open. Make sure your SD card is in your computer and then go and make sure that Super Smash Bros. is in. Then, go to your bookmarks and select Kernel. If you did it correctly, the screen will go green with an Illuminati symbol. And then it will exit. Next, go to the internet browser again and choose your bookmark called SD Caffeine. If you do this correctly, then the screen on the TV will go black and on your gamepad it will say SD Caffeine and there will be a coffee cup in the bottom left corner. Press A to exit this screen. Now your mods are all set up and ready to go. So now, 
go back to the Wii U menu, and load Super Smash Bros. Now that we have Smash Bros, we can test to make sure that our mods worked. First, I'll be testing the music. It may take a bit loader to... a bit... excuse me, a bit longer to load than normal because of the new files it has to load up. If you recall, I replaced the credits theme from Super Smash Bros. on Final Destination with Megalovania from Undertale. This song will now play in matches on Final Destination. Now going into Smash Mode, we can see the other things in this mod pack. First, there are a couple new skins for Mario. This one doesn't seem to work, but this is Grandad. As far as I know, there aren't any other new skins, but there are model swaps for Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon! If you've ever seen the move swap codes for Super Smash Bros. Brawl online anywhere, this is like that, except it doesn't crash every time you try to use a special move. You can choose any character from the game to overlap as Captain Falcon. Let's say that I want... Let's say I want a Little Mac Captain Falcon. I'll just put it on 5 for now. And I will also play on Final Destination to show that Megalovania can play um, during battles as well. It's a proof of concept. As you can hear, it is now playing, and we have a Little Mac Captain Falcon. Now, many characters are rather glitchy because uh, characters have not only their model, but different assets to them as well, and it overlaps those assets over the character when you use a model swap. So, for example, Little Mac has his hoodie on over his normal skin, so it can be a little glitchy, but... As you can see, I am Captain Falcon as Little Mac. No contest. Here's one more that I would like to show you guys, and I'll leave the rest for you to find out on your own. Survival. They seem normal at first. Alamar has no hurt box. So he is automatically the best character in the game.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that this tutorial has helped some of you. If it did, please hit that like button. It really means a lot. And be sure to subscribe if you want more Nintendo and gaming content. If you have been unable to get these mods working, please leave me a comment and I will be sure to help you as best as I can so you can get to modding. It is safe to play online with music mods and texture mods, which I will get to in another video, but it is not safe online with the mod pack. So if you want to load normal Smash Bros, just turn off your Wii U and turn it back on. Once again, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Happy modding.